Hello, Providence Children's Museum family and friends, and welcome to our Try It At Home experience. I'm Jesse, a museum educator here at the Children's Museum, and today we're going to learn how just one plastic bag can impact our environment. When you throw away trash, like a plastic bag, it doesn't always end up where it's supposed to. Wind and water can carry a plastic bag very far away from the place you threw it out. Eventually, the plastic bag might end up in the ocean. What do you think will happen once the plastic bag is in the ocean? Let's do a craft to help us find out. To do this activity, we will need a plastic bag, scissors, a jar, or we're going to use a tub, a big plastic tub, some water to fill the tub or jar, and blue food coloring. This is optional. Alright, let's get started. So first, you're going to use your scissors to rip the plastic bag to make it look like it has traveled from where you threw it out all the way to the ocean. That looks pretty good. Alright, now you place your plastic bag in the water. Finally, you can add a few drops of the blue food color to make the water look like the ocean. You might have to mix it around now. Alright, so now that we have done our activity, what does the plastic bag look like? Does it look like any sea creatures that you know of? To me, it looks just like a jellyfish. A sea turtle might also think the plastic bag looks like a jellyfish. Did you know that sea turtles love to eat jellyfish? When a sea turtle sees a plastic bag floating in the water, they might get confused and eat it. Can you guess what might happen to the turtle when they eat the plastic bag? That's right, it's not good for them. The plastic bag fills their bellies and they don't have any room for food. This means that the turtle might starve. What do you think we can do in order to make sure that our plastic bags and other trash don't end up in the ocean? How can we help our turtle friends? Some ideas are reusing or recycling the plastic bags you get from the store. You can even get creative and use your plastic bag to make a craft. Another idea is when you go to the store, you can ask for paper bags instead of plastic bags. Or you can bring your own reusable bag from home. Thank you so much for participating. We'll see you soon for our next Try It At Home activity. If you want to share with us what you created, you can ask your grown-up to post a picture of your jellyfish plastic bag on Facebook or Instagram. Tag at PVD Child Museum and use hashtag PCMCreates. Bye!